Thank you. And let me just answer one thing here and then I'll be ready. Guys are funny. <laughs> okay, well we're gonna get busy. I think I told you guys one time when I was in what was I freshman high school? Um, I took one of those long no, just a couple years ago. <laughs> I took a I I, I love my typing class. Loved it, loved it, loved it. We're gonna do our packages and envelopes first we're going to kind of reverse it today and then we have a have a big box and then we have just a few updates and uh, then I'm going to try to call it an early night tonight I went Steve and I went out to my mom's and on the way home I fell asleep in the car that is not something I usually do so I'm going to try to hit the sack early tonight um, but first off we do have uh, some uh, cards for my mom and I've had a, I had a few people ask about it's okay ask about if my mom was going to come here and open the cards and I think not she's probably I'm going to be with her my sister is going to my sister Patty from Idaho is going to be with her and we'll just open them and and have some cake and something to to wash it down with and ice cream and just have fun and watch her open it. Um, my mom's first name is Eldora. Eldora. Very different name, isn't it? But um, she is going to, I just want to tell you, I've got a huge stack in there for her for her birthday, which is Tuesday. And she is just not going to believe this. Um, it's just going to be really exciting for her and for us and I'm 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 so appreciative that you guys care about my mom too so thank you for that we have another one for my mom from Lois S and Val S and this is from Wisconsin so Lois and Val S from Wisconsin and then this one doesn't have a name on it and we'll weed out moms first. Here's another one um, from Lee, L-E-E-J, from Massachusetts, M-A. Lee, L-E-E-J, from Massachusetts. And I think that's it. So I'm going to just put these over here by the door so I don't forget them. Badu, will you, teach, will you keep track of those for me, pretty girl? And then we'll start with the envelopes, work up to the packages, and then work up to the box. And for our cat -a -tary, which is Critter Cat, this is her first night doing it, so we won't go too fast for her. You guys, all the cat -a -tary's are awesome people, though, along with our moderators, of course. Um, you guys help, help keep me going. Uh, this one is from Kathy, spelled with a C-H from California. Kathy H. from California. I, I love to hear, oh I was going to remember this one address that I ran across today. I was starting to get some of my thank you notes done. It was something like Bubbling Brook or something. It was really pretty. And, and if our cat -a -tary could put that, Kathy also sent a, a, a donation. And it says, um, Dear Miss Moss, which, <laughs> oh, that's very sweet. Uh, you can always, everybody always, Jackie is great. It is fine to call me. I found out about your facility only a month ago when I got my Barnes and Noble Nook tablet, which I highly recommend. It's great went on Ustream and was thrilled to see a facility devoted solely to rescuing and providing such excellent care exclusively for cats. 
Although I love all animals, I am a cat person because I've been around them throughout my life. There is one resident in particular who has captured my heart, Bella. She makes such a valiant effort to get around despite her disability and seems so friendly and sweet. Because of my time constraints and workload, I can't watch every night, but when I do, I always wait for her to appear. Please give her a special hug and kiss for me. I am sending a small note donation, which I would give more at this time and hope to donate more in the future. Here's a small snapshot of my own cat, Ajax. He's about 11 and still very frisky and loving. All the best and keep up the great work, Kathy H. And here's Kathy's, Kathy's kitty cat. So he's 11. Very beautiful cat. Thank you, Kathy. And Kathy, here's your baby. <laughs> yeah, you know, actually, Bella told me today that she thinks all the four-legged cats are kind of weird. She thinks that three-leggeds are the best. CJ, really, Eldor means gift of the sun. I did not know that. Gift of the sun. I will. I will tell my mom that tomorrow. She's going to come for breakfast. This is three weeks in a row. She's going to come for breakfast on a Sunday. They love you, Bella. Bella says, and I was sound asleep on my paw print bed. Come on, let's put you there. You know, Bella loves her comforts. And uh, she uh, she gets on those big poof beds, those marshmallow beds, and she she um, she doesn't get up. I swear she's there all night sometimes. Okay, this one is from Linnell, which is L-I-N-E-L-L, -L, Linnell and Mark S. from. I do think I would know these. I think it's Minnesota. Minnesota, from Minnesota, from Linnell and Mark S. from Minnesota. We like to watch when you open. He is really cute, isn't he? Thanks to you. <laughs> That's this one. And for our category, if you would put that there's coupons, and when Diane gets back, um, she's going to have a whole bunch of coupons. We got some more, quite a few in the house, and she's going to organize those for us. So thank you very much for the coupons, Linnell and Mark. And it says to Jackie, volunteers and kitties, here are some coupons for you to use and share with anyone who could use them. I am also in the process of putting together another package full of goodies for my kitty friends and also for you and the volunteers. Oh, this is Linnell. Linnell is the chat name. Now I know who we have here. Linnell, L-I-N-E-L-L -L 37. I was the one who wrote the FFRC frame colored paw prints for you. Yes, I know who we've got here. Thank you, Linnell. Thank you very much. People are very good to us. Mm -hmm. They're from Minnesota. That's where our vet was from. And now... But it sounded like water running. Oh, oh, this says not for Cam. So um, I'm going to just put that over here and I will take care of that one later. Thank you. And you know, I appreciate it when you guys do that. If there's something that is supposed to be not for the Cam, that it's on there so I don't have a surprise. Uh, you know, I, so I don't do something I'm not supposed to do is what I meant. Oh, this is something I ordered. Yay! This is for one of the kid, my kids. It's a laptop charger. So cool. I uh, hope it works for them. Okay, I'll take that in then. And they'll be here tomorrow, so that works out just fine. That's funny because I put that in my name, and it, ca and it came to Friends of Felines Rescue Center at LTD. Ooh, that's weird. 
unless it's on the record. This one is uh, from um, Massachusetts, and I we don't have a name here or a oh it's from Tony Tony B who is one bad one. That's the cam name. I recognize that. And um, Nefertiti. Let me see if I, there's a spelling on there. I can get that better. Tony B from Massachusetts. Or from Massachusetts. We have a lot of Massachusetts people. And the cam name is One Bad One. And it says Nefertiti. N-E-F-E-R-T-I-T-I. I bet you that's a kitty. Nefertiti, that was a queen in Egypt. It was a queen. Nefertiti? Nefertiti, a queen in Egypt. I think she has her own sphinx. Oh, she <laughs> has her own sphinx? You know, the big Oh, thing, yeah. Whatever they're called. But not the soft, cuddly ones like what we Oh, have. well, <laughs> I don't know. This, I had talked to Tony last night on the cam, and he's actually, if you notice the difference in the um, color, the contrast, everything on the wet, on the picture that you all have, he helped us fine tune it. And I really do think it's nice, nice one there. Uh, so thank you, Tony. And he told me that he was sending this to me for a trial. It's a chemical-free insect control, and. He said, I am, emailed you last week about this product. If you consult your vet, which you know we always do that, and the website, you should get an idea of what it can do. I find it works very well. And uh, this is uh, the, a product that he uses for fleas. So I will definitely talk to our vets about this. And uh, it's a natural one. It does mites and fleas and ticks. And see you now, yeah, it had a cedar oil, 10% cedar oil in it. Thank you, Tony. Um, you know, it's nice when people recommend something like that that we get a get a sample of like that to try, so that we know what we're what we're doing. Thanks, Tony. I'll keep you all posted on that. And I'm gonna put this here so I can take it inside and pull that website up and look at that again tonight. And yeah, we did that. Uh oh, we got a. We got it. Do you want to go to Auntie Becky? That's Fifi. Oh, baby. In case you missed it last night, Fifi's surgery's been changed. Um, it's March 6th now instead of the 7th. And the two J's, Jake and uh, Jaina, will go up with her for their chest x ray also. And this is from Steve. And Carla, Steve and Carla C. from Oregon, and I believe they're on tonight because they said that they're they're they would like us to open it up on a Friday or Saturday. So, Oregon, Ohio, or Oregon State? No, Cannon Beach, Oregon. Ooh. And you know, what is it? Is it a Thursday? Is March? And then we can say this is the month that our two kitties go to Colorado. Um, you know, we've been waiting so long for Tweeny and uh, uh, Peverly to go, so they get to go go pretty soon. Uh, oh, oh, I think this one hasn't missed too many meals either, like my kitties. Isn't that cute? That looks like a, a beige and white, maybe. My name is Buddy, and I am nine. I was found on the beach at one day old. Oh, my gosh. Mom and Dad thought I was going to be a white kitty, but I surprised them. I grew into a blue-eyed, oh, flame point Siamese mix. Oh, yes, yeah. Check it out. The eyes are blue. Grew into a blue-eyed, flame point Siamese mix. I am a talkative guy who says, Mama, and my nickname is Lizard Lips because when I get nervous, I lick my lips. Ah, uh, those are just beautiful. Thank you, Steve and Carla and William, Uncle Cat, and our cats. I like that. I love getting you guys' pictures. Okay, here, let me stick these in there. 
And this says, um, <laughs> please use the beds for the kitty city cats. We will do that. Oh my goodness. Oh, I see some good st good stuff in there. We're gonna lie. Look at that. Yeah, we we'll take these out tomorrow. Thank you so much. Yeah, sometimes our our kitty city cats like to like to get some cool stuff too. And you know, today the sun porch kitties. Uh, you you many of you know uh, Fabio, or as Paul calls him, Flavio, because he's a little bit saggy baggy belly. Um, he got in here, of course, like he always does, and he found one of those yellow bananas. He was going crazy with it, just rubbing and rolling on the floor. So I took him out, and I gave him the banana outside. And here comes two more kitties from the, the Sun Porch kitties. So I came back in and got a new one of those bananas, and um, the catnip bananas, and went outside. And by that time, five of the six Sun Porch kitties oh were there. So I gave them both of them, and they were sharing them and flipping them and playing with them. So that was really fun. Well, let's start with, oh, gosh, I would love to. Oh, wow. Oh, I did get to see the Oregon Beach once, and it was just beautiful. We'll put these up there on our cork board. Oh, beautiful. Yeah, those are, those are really cool cards. Wow, we got, well, let's pull, pull out the most important thing here. <laughs> hey, <laughs> the candy trailer. For the volunteers, Twix, oh, with Grego like that, M&M's, and uh, Snickers. Oh, this is nice for Einstein from Roy. Sh oh, these, oh, ah, he has a, he used to have one of these a long time ago, and he loved it. Did you ever see him? Did you ever, you probably don't get to see him anymore now that the, these are shredders. I'm going to go ahead and let them have this. They're called shredders, and you just hang them up, and he will shred this to smithereens. Oh. He'll rip that up into a million and one pieces. Yeah, great entertainment, <laughs> and uh, it's, it's good for him. Good for him. It's fun. Tie a strip on your bird's cage and watch the fun unravel. Veterinarian and bird bre breeder approved. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, Einstein definitely will like that. Thank you, Roy. That's from Roy. Hey, what are you doing? No. That's medicine. Can't have that. Wow, I don't know where to start at. Well, we got the Friskies Gravy Sensations, which, you know, the kitties love these. Have you ever tried those on your kitties? Uh -uh. You should, uh, they're uh, the Frisky brand. Each one of those packets has a ton of uh, gravy stuff in there. Oh, and Mylar, my, Mylar uh, toys. I'm going to give these to the guys tonight already because they love those. It's the crispiness. Oh, the germ, the dis hand disinfectant or di uh, sanitizer, a big bottle of it. And wrapped in plastic just in case it at least. I, what? Is it? Now that isn't even catnippy. Now stop. It's like telling a four year old, don't do that. So, hand sanitizer. Wow. And she, and they've got, our cats love these. Supposed to be for, supposed to be for mom. Oh, yeah. You know, it's been a long time since I've had any of these here for the kitties. These are kids or, or big people's ponytails, and the cats love them. And you know what? I wonder if Tilo would go crazy with one of these. You know how he likes to chase things. We'll ch yeah, they're scrunchies. You know, um, Rory is in his pen, and he's kicking and kicking something. I think he must have a catnip toy. We'll, we'll, we'll do those with the kitties. I think he has a banana. Is that what he's got? Is I a banana? Mm -hmm. He's rolling on his back. And gently checked out by healthy cats. <laughs> Thank you. All kinds of all kinds of different toys. And I see one that we had never had before here till last week. Remember that bouncy ball, that crazy bouncy ball? 
and they really do bounce crazy. I saw um, Fifi playing with one of these today. Here you go, Bebe. We'll put that one out. Oh, there we go. Oh, that's you look again. It's sugar free. Oh. Volunteer treats. Thank you for, for doing that. That's really nice of you guys to think of the sugar free ones. And we got to throw. Oh, and another one of the scratchers. And I already heard today that the kitties in Kitty City need another um, another scratcher again. So we'll we'll take one of those out again. Um, the magic sponge or Mr. Clean magic spongers. These are awesome. I wish I'd have invented them because I'd be a rich person now. Ping pong balls. You know, I don't know what happens sometimes. We put some of those ping pong balls out last week, and it's like, I don't know where they are. And we move furniture every single day. <laughs> come on, you can come, Turing. Turing's off and running at it. Aww. What do you think? What do you think? Do you know if you pinch these, they go crazy? They bounce all over the place. You know, there's two of them chasing it back there. And, oh, I've seen one of these before, but it was with a sheep, and this one's a kitty. Thank you. Isn't that cute? We could put that probably on the door there so these dangle down. It's got the long danglers. Oh, Look at that. Look at the toes. Oh, isn't that cute? We should save that for when we make this long. You know how we always had something hanging on this? So that when the kitties were down here in the bed uh, and they had that long, the something to play with, this would be ideal for them, for our future kitties. And our kitties love to play with these. Might be great for kids to play with cats or your kitty take home bags. You know what? The you oh I better save these and put those on there for the ones we don't take out. These are those super duper long um, straws and these are great. I have boxes of straw and straws in a, in the kitty campus room and I sometimes do send these home with the uh, kitties. I don't know what it is about straws but they love them. I've never seen anything this long before. Yeah, we'll put a few of these out, too. Have you ever done straws with your kitty? Oh, my gosh. My kitties inside love it, too. I don't know if it's... I don't know what it is. A little noise about it? or We'll put one of each color down on the floor tonight. Thank you, Carla. Holy mackerel. I've never seen any any of them this long. Yeah, see, your, who's, yeah, your kitty likes them. I'll tie this back on. And I think I can get these straws in that drawer where the other, where the smaller straw, straw, straws are. And yeah, if you guys at home have never tried straws on your kitties, you should try them. Hello. The kitty, uh, Promise is back there playing with, with the uh, ping pong balls. Hey, Patty. Okay, two of them's already being played with. Oh, these are nice flannel fa flannel pillowcases. We love flannel pillowcases. We love any kind of pillowcases because we use them up so much. And a blankie. And this will be a real easy one to wash too. Oh, and another. Uh, another blankie, so we have two blankies, or three blankies actually, three blankies, and um, I see something else in here that's pretty cool, uh, chicken for twinkles I'm sure, and did, did, you, did you feed this tonight, chicken tonight, or didn't you have to? A chicken for a twinkle? Oh, yes. I used some of that. Did uh, Putter eat it? No. Putter didn't eat. He didn't eat mm -hmm. for you? Well, Twinkles loves the chicken. And da-da-da-da-da-da-da, sardines. 
Do you like sardines? Yeah. I, see, I knew there was a volunteer that liked sardines. This Becky. Yep. These are for the kittens. And you know they they love the sardines. And my excuse is that if they have to have sardines, and I have to have sardines. I got one that popped just a little, so I'm going to put that in the fridge. And we'll wash those off. Yeah, we like sardines. I have not seen one of these in a long, long time. The fantasy brush says traps and hold hair while cats play, reduces hairballs and matting, entertains for hours, vacuum cleans in a snap. I've, I've forgotten these. We haven't seen one of these for a long time. These are cool. And before I put those in, it goes like this. The cats will rub, and we do have the one we've had before. We had to, we did, we had to sweep the hair off of these every day. But I, I know from experience, before I put that in there, I'm going to put some glue in those two holes so that this doesn't pop out. But I'll do that, and the kitties can have this tonight during the night time. <laughs> Lots of cool stuff. Thank you so very much. Wow. The kitties are going to like this box because on the bottom there's a little sardine juice. Uh -oh. <laughs> so they're going to like that. Um, so that, that's it. We got a, I'll clean up my mess in just a wee little oh, bit. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. But I bet she can do it. But I wanted just to give you a couple updates. Um, we did move Rory up to Dodger's Pen and he is doing really good. He's beautiful cat, American Shore here, and uh, he's just doing really good. Uh, he's looking around, and he looks so healthy and just just beautiful. Um, yeah, thank you, Beach Cats, for everything. Pretty cool stuff. And then our other kitty here is... Do you want to come out and show everybody you? You do, don't you? Ah, you do. Well, come here. Come on. You're looking for food, aren't you? Did you get a little pot? Oh yeah, we're gonna have to get you get you cleaned up a little. It's a little hard for her in the litter box a little bit, so I'm gonna hold her so I don't. I'm gonna have to give her a little bath. Um, but the, I know she has a little smell. We'll get that off. This is Angel Kisses, and um, that's the surgical line there for her hip, and then her little spay spay line. And uh, she's doing really good. She is such a doll. Loves people. Loves everybody. We'll see if Auntie Becky will help. Don't smell her foot. We know it's got a little pooey on there. We'll get it cleaned off. But she's doing really good and eating well. She sat up a little bit this morning. Uh, she loves her heaters. And, you know, you guys know who Lily is, the black and white stuffed kitty that I've had some fun with that uh, Auntie Fee sent. I've got Lily uh, in there with uh, Angel Kisses, and she was sleeping this afternoon with her head on it. So it was pretty cute. And I thought it was a real cat. Here you cat. go. And Becky thought it was a real cat, too. <laughs> <laughs> we, we've had some fun. I wish I was here when you came, because I'd have I'd had some fun with you. <laughs> Becky, I'm going to put her in there for just a minute. But then can you help me? Um, I might need a little help getting her cleaned up a little bit. She's oh, got a little, she a little pooey on her leg. Okay. Yeah. Sure. And then um, the other thing I wanted to let you know. Oh, here, I'll show you a little. Come here, kitty. This is Angel Kitty's friend. This is Lily. Come on, we'll take your pinky off. Da-da-da, it's our stuffed toy. It's from Auntie Fee, and, and Lily now has her own collar, one of the Christmas collars that we got at Christmas time, and she has a name tag on, says Lily. <laughs> yeah, well, Auntie Fee wanted her name Lily, so that was, we wanted to do that. So she's been laying in there like this with Angel Kitty, who is eating, I hear her crunching, and uh, they, she just, I had her legs out like this, and Angel Kitty just, or Angel Kisses just put her, her head on her legs here, so I thought that was kind of cute. Um, and then we had another bit of news. I just saw this. 
I put in here earlier today. I got it. We got one more box to open, um, and that is that uh, O'Malley did go back to his home. So, um, you know, I had said a couple times, and I even mentioned it in the blog that that uh, o O'Malley might we might know where his home was, and it did turn out that he he did uh, get out. And so they were happy to have him back. And uh, we went so far as to set up a surgery appointment for him, and I'm going to help him pay for that so that he's done. I just, I'm happy for him to have his home, but he wasn't neutered, and, he sh and he's old enough to be neutered. So we're going to help him out on that because I just kind of felt a little obligated since we got to know him, and that's what, that's what we should do. So in that case, um, I know that we were sending them back where he's got an appointment already to get neutered. So pretty cool. He was happy to see him. And boy, he did one out here. Oh my goodness. He wanted out in the worst way this morning. He was clawing at the door and the windows. And so I put him back there in Thumper's room for a while because uh, he liked, I remembered when he was in there, he liked the shelf that's in there. Uh, because it's it's a window level and he could see out, so he was much happier in there until I took I took him with me when Steve and I left today because we were going right by it. And this one is for our cat Terry. This is from Kiwi, and uh, her first name is Christine. Her cam name is Kiwi Nans, and. Um, Oh, it's from New Zealand. From New Zealand. So actually, I guess you could say we had three adoptions today. Our O'Malley, and uh, you all know that Bay Oz went this morning. Oh man, he's going to be one spoiled rotten boy. They, all, all his mama wanted to do was to go home and hold him and hold him. And then... Uh, you know Dickens also left today, and I already heard back from Val. They arrived home safely, and Val has Dickens in a room with a gate in front of it so that if the other kitties wanted to come in, they could. But uh, she was kind of anchoring, like how, kind of like what we do here, uh, uh, anchoring that kitty Dickens in that room as his safe home base area. And she was laying on the floor with them, and... Um, he was already purring and rolling, and I think it's going to be a really good thing. I think it's going to be fine. So let's see what Kiwi sent here. We got a card. This thing that came all the way from New Zealand. Oh, wow. Cathedral, Cathedral Square. In, in uh, Christchurch City, New Zealand. And it says, This is a photo of Christchurch Cathedral in the South Island of New Zealand before the big February earthquake. Oh, it is now completely wrecked. Oh, that would be sad. Hope you all enjoy New Zealand's favorite chocolate fish or sardines for Jackie with love. From Christine, aka Kiwi Nans. Oh, I hope, I hope that the cathedral will get repaired. So let's see. Oh, these are going to be wonderful. There's, there's. Oh, these are Cadbury. Kind of like our Easter um, marshmallow. Um, oh, what do you call those little chickies? And but these are original Cadbury original chocolate fish as a chocolate covered marshmallow fish as kiwi as six fish pack. It oh and look at that! It looks like sandals on there in the shape of the fish. Isn't that cute? Chocolate fish, the big thing in New Zealand. Isn't that something? That's cute.
Kiwi Peeps. There you go, Peekaboo Kitty. That's cute. Kiwi um, Peeps. And there's there's three packages of these. Kiwi, thank you so much. We'll share these with the volunteers. I think that's really cute how they made the sandals like that. Wow, cool. I never look at the calories on candy. Don't want to. Kiwi, thank you. Thank you. That's really nice that you sent that for us, and we'll share that with the volunteers. And I love the picture. I think I'm going to put this on our um, cork board where we have like our postcards because that we can, that's like a postcard of your, of your country. So we're going to do that. Um, I think that that's all I have, unless somebody had any questions. They are called Jandals. Oh, thanks, Janak. They are called Jandals. That's very interesting. Thanks, of I'm okay. I do have, I think, another one in my purse, and it expires 229. Okay, got it. Donica is not back. Uh, Winbird, I did mention that last night, but I'll be happy to mention it again. Um, Donica is still with his mama that adopted him, and things are going better. And um, that the, his new mama is spending lots and lots of time on the floor with him, and he really is just starting to respond to her, and she does not want to give up yet. She wants to um, see how far she can do this. Hey, Becky. Yeah. Why were you washing the wall behind the red cabinet with the mop? Why was I washing the wall? Why was Becky washing wall behind red cabinet with mop? Oh, you were rinsing the mop out. Red cabinet? I bet. Oh, I, I rinsed the mop out. And yeah, it. she was rinsing the mop out. That's where we rinse it out at. And, uh... Uh, we hang it up. We always get all the any chemicals out of it, so it doesn't interfere with the next kind of chemical we use. Oh, what was O'Malley's real name? You know, I don't. I'm not sure that they even mentioned it. I to, I just called him O'Malley. Yeah, yeah. I you're probably right. We'll we'll probably toss that one can of sardines. Yeah. <laughs> What happened to Cosimo? Cosimo got adopted from that family that kept him. Um, we're going to have to make sure Severin, we keep Severin up on things. So, um, that family, you know, that kept putting it off, bringing him back, and I kept saying, mm, something's up. I wondered what was going on. Well, that's what it was. They just didn't have the heart to bring him back. And, you know, after I called him about three times, and I was getting the same story that, uh, well, he's not ready to come back. It's like, I think they're not ready for him to come back. And we actually did the official adoption for Cosimo. And uh, he's he's uh, he's doing great. I'm trying to remember. I heard again one more time after we made it official. And he's doing great. It's a quiet house. Remember how he was kind of shy here and uh, a little worried about life here? Well, he's not there. He's doing really, really well. <laughs> uh, is that cabinet red or orange? You got good eyes, CJ, because the side where the B is is red. No, it's orange. And the side, like where that yellow sign is, is uh, red. So it's both. Um, no, um, Bayaz's owner is not a camera, but... And they don't even have a computer. But they said, but next year, uh, February or March, we'll probably watch all four of those cats that came from here. Uh, Ping Pong, Wiley, and now um, Bayaz. We'll, we'll take care of them while they're gone for a week or, or a couple weeks. Okay, and I am really far behind. Yep, um, let me see if I can find Jaken. How many cats do I have in my home? I have 10 in my house, and I love them. 
Well, you, aw, okay. Nope, I haven't heard anything yet from Beazes, but I know that they will. They're wonderful people. I'm going to try to get our, our ex-mayor, our past mayor again, Tom, who did the help me with the catathon last year, so that we can do it again together this year. And actually, I've got to write that down to, to call Tom. They are keeping Cosim Cosimo's name. Uh, <laughs> the joke this morning on Bayaz, his new name is this. Because <laughs> he's deaf. So, oh, come here. <laughs> Jim thought of that. I thought that was cute. Um, Anani's doing great. I saw him today. You know, Anani's out there in Kitty City. He's doing great. He never missed a beat going out there. He just seemed like that was where he was supposed to be. Okay. Let me put the rug down. Oh, well, cats. Omi, um, just real quick in a nutshell, Angel, Angel Kisses is doing really good. She's eating. She loves her heater things. Uh, I have ten, 10 cats in my home. <laughs> we don't do very much kitty sitting, kitty sitting because normally we are too full to do that and also I do not do it for the public it's only for those who have been adopted from us like right now we have Missa but um, we're very careful because we know the kind of health we have in here so we're just very careful with that because um, we want to want to make sure everything that comes in is, is healthy a gift of the Sun I love that I told Val she should have six more, Goss. Who is Zap? Zap is my, my youngest baby in the house. <laughs> Zeke and Zany and all of my cats get along real good. Farah has not had her meds yet tonight. I I shaved uh, Becky's doggy. These male cats who are worked on supposed to not necessarily um, nature because if they already have the habit that they want to go out, neutering them may not always help that. I mean, if it's a habit and they already know what that great outdoors is, that doesn't always stop them. It, it, sh it will help with the desire to want to go out um, finding the girls, but if they like the outdoors, that's not going to curtail that all the way. I'm not sure what they're really going to end up calling Bay Oz yet. <laughs> Aww. Buster's a good dog, and you can tell he loves Becky so much. And he's so ready to go. He's so ready. He doesn't like me. <laughs> Every time he comes here, I shave him. <laughs> sure, I'll show you. I'll show you. Um, I'll. Well, she's going potty right now, so we have to wait a minute, and then I'll show you angel kisses. <laughs> yeah, Buster doesn't. Buster's not too keen on me. Okay, I might have missed a few questions. I know that clock is really ticking. I told Steve I was going to come in and watch TV with him. Duxter has not had a happy day. You are absolutely right. Duxter, uh, to put it bluntly, he's been a real crab today. And uh, I don't know what's going on with him today, but he's a crab. Um, is Duster out here right now? He's in the room, isn't he? Yeah. Yeah. I put him in kitty camp, or I put him in cat's corner room. 
I've got somebody who loves him and I think is going to probably take him home. Yeah, he's been he's been a real crab. I love Dugster too. I love him. He loves people, but but you know what? He bit somebody today on the face, and it's just you know that's not like Dugster to do that. Yeah, he's kind of a bipolar boy there, but we still love him. No, no, this is somebody that's been coming and visiting Dugster um, off and on for the last month or so, and the feeling's pretty mutual between the two of them. So I'll find out more within this next week about it. Yeah, he's an awesome cat. He just, I don't know what's happened, but this week, today he's been, been a little bit, a bit of a stinker putt. Yeah, he's, I think he's napping in there right now. In the home that he'll be going into, he will be the only cat. And he loves this, the people. He's already met the whole family and he loves them. Yes, the owners that has um, Vayas know that he loves to do the slinky thing. Yeah, Val. Oh, yeah, Val's the one that got got his teeth today. Uh, that was so awful. I felt bad about that. Okay, well, I'm going to clean up a little bit and try to get in early, but let me give, let me go down my list of a few things i got to do. Fira girl. Oh, I hear she's sleeping. Fira, Fira, wake up. Come on, wake up, little girl. 